Hello and welcome to Angela's Hangout. So I am participating in this collaboration. It is hosted by Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. She is hosting this collaboration. It's called the 2017 Virtual Cookie Exchange. I mean, really, how fun is that? Everybody gets to put out their favorite cookie, list their recipe, and we all get to share and enjoy. I mean, genius, that was great. Good job, Michelle. So, and let me tell you, I really need that right now. I'm in California, and I don't know if you've been watching the news at all, but there's a lot of fires going on. I am only an hour north of it, and let me show you real quick what I woke up to this morning because it is quite shocking. Again, I'm an hour north, so let me show you real quick. Look at our sky this morning from all the smoke. Trip home. Isn't that the craziest thing? That's what I woke up to. And I can only imagine what it's like down south. It's, I mean, it's just a mess. So what better way to take your mind off of what is going outside than to heat up that oven and start baking. So I am going to make some Mexican wedding balls today. Um, it's kind of a recipe that my daughter, actually my daughter's teacher gave it to us one year when she was in the first grade. That was 20 years ago, uh, almost 20 years ago, and we have been making this recipe. It's been our go-to for everything for the longest time, and I'm so super excited to share it with everybody. Um, some people call it snowballs, but here they're called Mexican wedding balls, and um, it's literally only six ingredients. Most of them you have on hand. You just plop them together and then throw them in the oven. Let me show you real quick. It's easy, and it's fun, and they're delicious. So these are literally your six ingredients. So all you need is one cup of butter, um, a half a cup of uh, powdered sugar, um, a teaspoon of vanilla, about two and a quarter cup of flour, two, two and a quarter, it just depends on like how your elevation is and stuff like that. Um, a quarter teaspoon of salt and your pecans, about three quarters cup of pecans. And that's it. That is it that is going to make this delicious recipe. Let's get busy. Let's check it out. Okay, so all you have to do is add in your one cup of butter that's two sticks. That just goes directly in the blender and let that thing do all the work for you. And, um, well, obviously I'm struggling. <laughs> and then there's a half a cup of powdered sugar and we're just gonna whip that up real quick, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our flour. So it takes about two cups of flour to it. I actually ended up using two and a quarter cups of flour and just start tossing it in there. And now I'm just adding in like a little dash of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla. It just goes right in there, and then you just blend it all together. Oh yeah, this is when I ordered or put in that extra quarter cup. So now I'm just going to measure out the um, three quarters cup of pecans, and put that in there, and just. We're just gonna let the mixer do all the work for me. <laughs> it's so much easier that way. Okay, so now we're just gonna take like a, about a tablespoon, 
roll them up in little tiny balls and just layer them right on the, tape, the um, cookie sheet. Okay, so that makes 15. <clears throat> and they're only about, like, about an inch big. I don't know. The camera's probably showing it a little bit bigger. But they go into a 400 degree oven, preheated oven, for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> I stuck a couple more in there, but anyway, they're all done. There's not much to them, but they were in there literally for 10 minutes. And let's put it together. Okay, now that they're done and partially cooled, all I need to do is put some powdered sugar in a little baggie. Take one, drop it in there, shake it all around, and then put it on your plate. All right guys, well here you have it. Aren't they so cute? They're actually very delicious. And so super simple and easy. Just don't tell anybody how easy they are because then they won't appreciate them as much. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, big special thank you to um, Michelle at My Everyday Life, Everyday Wife Life, for putting on this collaboration. It is so appreciated and I really, really needed this today. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.